So welcome back to another tutorial on Python collection. Today we're going to talk about tuple. So tuple is another Python data set that is ordered like a list, but it's unchangeable like a string. It means that you still have to access this index number, but uh, you don't. Mm, you cannot modify, add, modify, delete elements from it. So let's see how can we create a tuple. To create a tuple, you can use round brackets such as a tuple, close parenthesis one two three. Uh, if you want to create a tuple, if you want to create one element only, you can say b tuple equals one comma. Uh, yeah, and then these tuples are commonly used. As a water pair like longitude latitude but they can use in other cases as well all right so you just create your first tuple now let's take a look at the access tuple element so this is just you to watch the list how to access a list list tutorial in Python and I covered um, some sort of detail like a pretty detail on how to access it this access a tuple is similar. Alright, so to access an element in tuple, you can use index number just like in list. Uh, just like how could you use negative index for a range of value in list, you can also do that in tuple. For example, if you want to access a second element, you can say print a tuple. But this time we are going to say one because index number zero uh, is uh, always because uh, oops, excuse me, CD video four. Excuse me, let me finish the terminal first. All right, and I need to use solve twenty in the terminal here. All right, so well, that was fun. Um, oh yeah. So since it's zero indexed for every position, like this is like a uh, position two in human language, you subtract one for machine to able to uh, put your correct value. So you can access a uh, negative index is this. Which, if you pay attention to the last element, it gives you um, the last element, like negative one, it's last, negative two, it's the last for a second, second last. Where we can use a range of value, we can say um, zero to one. And then what you see is just one here. Should we start with one and two, right? Okay. Oh yeah, it start with this position number, it doesn't include this. So if I say 0, 2, what you should see is 0, 1 get printed out, which is 10, 20. That's how could you access a tuple element. Now we're going to learn a little bit special property. I didn't talk in a list, but still similar. So you can get the length of a tuple. We will talk about what we do use it uh, because when you talk about loop it's going to be important so to get a length of a tuple you can just say let's just find as a tuple a tuple equals uh, 10 20 30 40 50 and then to get the length of it you can say print out length and then this go take in a parameter the object that you want to find the length in if you say python 3 tuple 2 dot pi uh, you see, five get printed out because there's five uh, five elements in it. All right. So what about add remove delete element from a tuple? Well, technically you cannot do that, but we will talk about how to add an element. There is a way to add the element to a tuple, though. Um, we will use a little bit 
change change around. So we need to change it to a list first. For example, let's go ahead and find a tuple again. It's 10, 20, 30, 40. So our goal is to add 50 at position number 5 or index number 4. So how can we do that? Well, first step is to change it to a list. A tuple to a list. So for consistency, I'm just going to name it as a list equals using list constructor and then you can use tuple. So if we print out a, a list, what you should see is a list of the same element print out, but if we try to see its type, you can see its class list. What does class mean though? Well, we're going to talk about that in another time, which is can bring us to the wonderful world of object-oriented programming, but that's the story for next time. I mean, not literally next time, maybe uh, three videos later. Uh, so you change a tuple to a list. Next, what you can do is add an element to a list because you can mutate a list. So I can say a list, you can add, the, so we need add to position number or five or index number four. So we can just say that and add, let's add 50. And if I print out a list again, okay, so probably that's not, yeah, let's use a pen instead. A list of pen, excuse me on that, so 50. And then, yes, so now this time it did it correctly. I don't want that. That shouldn't work. Forgot that I saw something different. So, now indeed you see 50 added to a list, but that's not what we want to do. We want to change it to, so we want to change it back to a tuple. So, let's recall what did we do so far. So, first we change the tuple to a list. Let me add element to, the, to that list. And then, we can change it back. So you say a tuple equals tuple in the five. So let's just make a tuple and put a list here. So change it back to a tuple. And then if we print out a tuple, uh, whoops, wrong function. And then indeed, what you see is a tuple with uh, new elements in it. All right, so same apply to delete also. So if you want to remove an element. So how could you do that? Well, mm, let me see. So a list, well, I'm actually gonna leave that up for you because I I don't know that talk about delete element. I should talk about delete. So I'm gonna leave that for you. And uh, remove, yeah. So, and uh, you can remove a tuple completely. Remove a tuple, whoops, not, not even PT. You can remove a tuple completely by using um, that. So, for example, I have a tuple defined, a tuple equal 10, 20, 30. I, if I say I don't like this tuple anymore, I can use DL, DL command. So this delete uh, some uh, tuple. You say delete a tuple, and then if we say print out a tuple, in theory it should send an error because it doesn't exist. Python three remove the pi. In theory it should see an error because a tuple is not defined anymore. That's how could you remove an element, remove a tuple completely. Uh, you can see Dell. And for other methods, some useful methods, which is only two, we're going to talk about counts. So 8 tuple equals 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then return. So we can use count. First is count. So I can say 8 tuple dot count. So count occurs of a value. So I can just put 10 here. And if we just try to say Python 3, to specify this, the version 3 Python instead of my default version 2, message uh, pi. 
what we saw is 1. Which means ten only occur once, and that's true. If I make uh, one more ten here instead, I should see two here. All right, and then lastly, we can talk about search the specific tuple for a specific value. So you want to search for a value for an index number for a value. I can say print a tuple dot index. And I can say value is 10. And then, or to see a position 0, which means secure 0. But you see, you probably will say, hey, it's also occurred here first. Well, unfortunately, it only returned the first occurrence. Alright, so tuple is pretty quick. And we're not going to use tuple like a lot. Not a lot. It's not that common. But it's some pretty useful data type though to represent uh, data, longitude, latitude, stuff like that. I like that. And um, yes, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. We'll talk about other stuff in.